hello, I'm uh, John Needle, Community Partnership Manager for the East of England Ambulance Trust. Um, here to talk to you about community public access defibrillators. Uh, this is a cabinet which uh, contains a defibrillator. To gain access to the defibrillator inside, should somebody go into cardiac arrest, you need to dial 999. When you're put through to our control room, uh, they will ask you uh, the details of what's gone on. When it's been determined this uh, cardiac arrest, they will inform you where the nearest cabinet is and ask you to send somebody to go and collect the defibrillator. They will also give you the code to put into the um, cabinet to gain access for the defibrillator and then ask you to bring that back to the patient. Okay, so we're here with our patient. We've called 999 and the ambulance is on its way. Somebody has been sent to collect the defibrillator and bring it back to the patient. Whilst they're doing that, we can be doing some actions to help the patient um, and aid their recovery. First thing to do is to talk to them and ascertain their level of consciousness. So ask them something like, uh, can you hear me? Can you open your eyes? Hello, can you talk to me? We get no response from that. We can uh, just give them a shake, see if we get any response there. Hello, can you hear me? And if there's no response there, we can pinch the ear and see if we get a response uh, to a painful stimulus. If they're not responding at all to any of that, they are unresponsive, we need to check their airway as uh, the tongue may have fallen to the back of the throat and be uh, blocking their airway. Just quickly look into the mouth, see if there's anything in there like food that might be causing them to choke. If there's nothing there, do a head tilt chin lift to move the head back to lift that tongue away from the back of the throat. Once we've done that, we can check to see if they are breathing or not. We look down the chest uh, for 10 seconds to see if the chest is going up and down, which would indicate breathing. We also might be able to hear the breath um, as our ear is close to the mouth, but we might be able to feel it on our cheek. If they are breathing normally, we could put the person into the recovery position. If they're not breathing normally, what we need to do is do CPR until the defibrillator arrives. That involves getting the heel of the hand in the centre of the chest and then compressing. Okay. When the defibrillator arrives, we then stop the CPR and we use the defibrillator. So we open the lid, switch it on, we then follow the voice prompts that the machine gives us. Tear open package and remove pad. Tear open package and remove pad. Peel one pad from plastic liner. Peel one pad from plastic liner. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Peel second pad and place on bare lower chest as shown. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Shock advised. Charging. Stand clear. Push flashing button to deliver shock. Shocking now. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. So we would carry on uh, doing the CPR for two minutes until the machine told us to stand clear. It would then analyse again and most likely give another shock, after which we would then carry on with CPR. We carry on in this process until the patient started breathing normally again or the ambulance arrives and takes over.